performance. And um, tonight's show is only going to run with one act, so with no intermission. So it'll be done in about 50 minutes. So without any further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the American Century. <laughs> Dorsey and his orchestra, this hour of music dedicated to the boys on the boats. Yes, girls, they're coming home. Soon they'll be walking down Main Street just as we remembered them. Let's sprinkle those memories with a little stardust, shall we? Artie Shaw. Well, 
It amounted to over $500. Five? <laughs> yes, and on the boat ride back, I got into this poker game with a bunch of COs. Oh, Tom, you didn't lose it. Lose it. I doubled it. One thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? A thousand bucks. A thousand smackers. And it's all ours, baby. Three. <laughs> Where are you going for, Margaret? All those years of scraping pennies to make the rent and looking for work that wasn't there and wondering where our next meal was coming from? They're over. They're done. We're going to have a big family, Margaret, and a big car. Everything we always wanted. Everything? Enough to keep you in stockings and lipstick for the rest of your life. I can hardly believe it. Believe it, Margaret. It's true. Our very <laughs> own house? Just waiting for us to move in. How many bedrooms does it have? I don't know. Five? Six? Six? Is that too many? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to have a big family, Margaret. With kids playing and laughing in every corner of the house. Oh, Tom. And we're going to give those kids everything we never had. The best schools, the best doctors. And the first one will be a boy. He'll be strong and healthy. And smart and handsome. A ball player like Duke Schneider. Or a doctor like Albert Schweitzer. Or a banker like his old man. And you can take him with you when you go fishing. <laughs> I'll take him out to Edmonds Field. And to the circus. And we can take the whole family up on trips to Mount Lake. Oh, well, I'll get rolling. Get, we'll get our own little summer cottage. What do you mean? You mean buy one? I'll be a banker, I'll just give myself a loan. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, Margaret, it's going to be nothing but the best. I know it's hard to believe right now, but it's true. <laughs> you know, when we were driving through those small towns in France, I don't know, you should have seen it. The streets were jammed with people, swinging from the street lamps, hanging out the windows, and they were cheering and waving American flags. And the mothers were holding up their babies for us to kiss. And this one kid, he grabbed me, and he held me around the neck, and, and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just, I looked into his eyes, and it felt like it had all been worth it. It's a whole new world, a whole new ball game. That's what I felt like when I looked into that kid's eyes. I felt like there wasn't anything we couldn't do, anything we couldn't have, if we just put our minds to it. A life more wonderful than we had ever imagined. We made it, Margaret. We're home. May I have the stand? Don't bother opening up. Don't bother opening up. Look at these tubes. 
Excuse me? Enormous! Excuse me? Hey, do you guys get Jack Benny on this thing? Well, yes, on Sunday. Why? Do you like Jack Benny? Oh, he's my favorite. Really? Mine too? <laughs> yeah, he's great, isn't he? I listen to him every week. Yeah, Donna, Dennis, and Rochester. And Mary Livingston and Maxwell the car? This is stick up. Your money or your life. <laughs> well. <laughs> It's a sham. 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 It's a s
to stand. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna settle this crap right now. You 
say you're our son, right? Right. You say you believe him, right? Fine. Prove it. What do you want, a blood test? <laughs> Don't tempt me. Prove it how? <laughs> okay, if he's our son, he must know a lot about us, right? Oh. I get it, I get it. Give you all background. Uh, you and Mom were born and raised in Schenectady, New York. Mom has six brothers and sisters, and you have three. Right? Public records. <laughs> uh, when you were a kid, you had to walk five miles to school every day without shoes. <laughs> ah! It was only six blocks, I told you. Figures. You told me it was a ball block. <laughs> Go on. Uh, oh, you and Mom met in high school, but didn't start going together until your senior year. She didn't like you at first because your hair drawing smelled like fish oil. She didn't want to be seen with a guy all of her friends called Tuna Head. <laughs> <laughs> That's true! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tuna Head? <laughs> Stop, Tom. It was the same hair tonic that Gabe all used, and I didn't hear you calling him Tuna Head. No, I never called you that. Who was it? Was it Phyllis? <laughs> <laughs> what difference does it make? The point is that. Uh, it
mostly. <laughs>
money grows on trees. I'll give you only money. When I was 10 years old, I had to sell newspapers to put food on the table. My brother was 8 years old, shining shoes at the train station. Go <laughs> spare me the boring depression. Boring! Oh, boring! Oh. <laughs> hey, if you didn't want to spend money, you shouldn't have had kids. Well, if you think I'm going to have you, you have none of the same money. That's an average boring you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, well, you know what it's like to be young and idealistic and fight for peace and justice for years and then find out that none of that made any difference. I'm beginning to. <laughs> it's different with our generation. Why? Because we were special. How? Because we were. Why? Because we were nonconformist. Who was? Everybody. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> yeah, well, you guys were pretty pompous too. I mean, all of a sudden you had the last war because he won a war. Give us reasons like you guys had, and even we could have been war heroes. I mean, Hitler, Mussolini, yeah. Pearl Harbor. You guys got all the breaks. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> but my own children hating me? Oh. I mean, after you got old and fat, it just kind of seemed cruel to... <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah. After the kids grew up and left home, you got addicted to diet pills. And Dad took you to the detox center. Yeah, better, but when you got home, all you seemed to want to do was eat. Which is perfectly reasonable, considering by now, Dad's drinking problem got him totally out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Tom's a weird. Why, he's never even... He's <laughs> 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 falling off the wagon like ten times. After the fire, he just gave up and bought a wholesale. What the fire? Uh, he burned the house down to collect the insurance money. <laughs> <laughs> Two people, 
who love each other, who care for one another. And besides, now that we know all these things will happen, we'll be able to change it. Don't you see? It'll be different now that we know. Hey, Mom, we need I mean, fibers. we made it through bad times before, right? And we can make it through again. We know this happened. Together. Tom. I spilled the milk.
I actually feel like I can do something. Like maybe there actually are answers. But Tom is gone. Forget him, who needs him? It's a whole new ball game, a clean slate. <laughs> but he was your father. Mom, please don't make me go back there. Please, for the love of God. I would rather die than go back. I would rather be dead. But if you don't have a father... <laughs> Mom, please, don't make me go back there. I mean it, I would rather die. I would rather be dead. What? Everyone has to have a father, don't they? <laughs> Which way? Left. Woo! <laughs>